Direct News TV February 26, 2024 Israel's War on Gaza Live, Israel's Army Opens Fire at People Waiting for Aid Doctors at Al-Shifa Hospital in Gaza City treat victims on the floor as Israeli forces open fire on people waiting for aid. The International Court of Justice, ICJ, concludes its six-day hearings into the legality of Israel's occupation of Palestinian territories since 1967. Gradual escalation and expansion of arena seen in the Israel-Hezbollah conflict. Today's Israeli strikes were the deepest inside Lebanese territory since Israel and Hezbollah went to war back in October. Lebanese security sources tell us a warehouse and a nearby farm were targeted in the Israeli air strikes near Baalbek, in eastern Lebanon, in an area that is known to be a Hezbollah stronghold. According to the sources, at least two Hezbollah fighters were killed and three others injured. Israel says it targeted the group's air defense units in retaliation for Hezbollah's downing of one of its drones. Many saw the downing as a message from Hezbollah to Israel. This is a sophisticated armed drone that Israel has been using in recent weeks to target Hezbollah fighters. The cycle of violence does not end because not long after these strikes, Israel carried out another targeted killing, hitting a car in southern Lebanon close to the border area. According to sources, at least two people were killed in that car. So, we are seeing a gradual escalation and the expansion of the arena of confrontation. Israel using famine as weapon of war, Palestinian minister. Riyad Malki, the PA foreign affairs minister, has said Israel has been using both famine and medicine as weapons of war. In a statement at the 55th high-level session of the UN Human Rights Council in Geneva, Malki said, while we are meeting now, 2.3 million Palestinians in Gaza are being subjected to massacre and deprivation, becoming victims of disease, pandemic, hunger and thirst. Calling for imposing political and economic sanctions on Israel, Malki said that Israel has been violating international law with its aggression against our people in the Gaza Strip, its genocidal war, and its crimes against the inalienable rights of the Palestinian people. PRCS says it evacuated 24 from Alamal Hospital. The Palestine Red Crescent Society, PRCS, says it has been able to evacuate 24 people from Alamal Hospital, including 18 patients and injured people, eight of whom needed urgent surgery. The organization said that its crews could also bring food and water to the hospital on Sunday. Despite prior coordination by the United Nations, Israeli forces obstructed the passage of the convoy for about seven hours at the military checkpoint west of the Alamal neighborhood, the PRCS said. It added that the Israeli army made paramedics leave their vehicles, before tying up three of them and taking them to an unknown destination while stripped of their clothes. U.S. airman dies after setting himself on fire in protest over Gaza genocide. The active duty member of the U.S. Air Force who set himself ablaze outside the Israeli embassy in Washington, D.C., has died. The 25-year-old airman, identified as Aaron Bushnell, of San Antonio, Texas, died from his injuries, the Metropolitan Police Department said. I will no longer be complicit in genocide. I'm about to engage in an extreme act of protest but, Compared to what people have been experiencing in Palestine at the hands of their colonizers, it's not extreme at all. This is what our ruling class has decided will be normal, Bushnell was reported as saying prior to setting himself on fire. Boys recount eating bird and donkey food every two days in Gaza City. Three brothers, Sarad Shihada, 8, Ismail, 9, and Saad, 11 have described the lengths they went to in order to find food before fleeing Gaza City for a tent in Deir el-Bala. When we were in Gaza City, we used to eat nothing. We would eat every two days, Sarad Shihada told Reuters, speaking as the boys ate the halawa, a sweet crumbly paste, straight out of a tub with a spoon. We would eat bird and donkey food, just anything, he said, referring to loaves made from grains and seeds meant for animal consumption. Day after day, not this food. Artists call for Israel to be excluded from Venice Biennale. More than 4,000 artists have called for Israel to be excluded from one of the world's biggest and most prestigious art exhibitions. 
There is no free expression for the Palestinian poets, artists, and writers murdered, silenced, imprisoned, tortured, and prevented from traveling abroad or internally by Israel. There is no free expression in the war crime of cultural genocide, the signatories to the letter said. The Palestinian campaign for the academic and cultural boycott, PACBI, which endorsed the letter, said, any official representation of Israel on the international cultural stage is an endorsement of its policies and of the genocide in Gaza. Pakbai argued that there were precedents for such a move, the Biennale banned apartheid South Africa from 1968 onwards, and in 2022 it banned Russian artists connected to the country's government. Civil defense confirms two killed in Israeli air attack on Lebanon's Tyre. The civil defense in southern Lebanon has announced that two people were killed in an Israeli raid that targeted a car in the town of Majidil in the Tyre district. A local media outlet posted a video on X, saying it showed the car targeted by Israeli drones. What happened in Gaza while Israel was meant to act to stop genocide? A month ago, the ICJ gave Israel a month to report back on how it was preventing acts of genocide in Gaza, but the killing hasn't stopped. Watch our video report below to find out what has happened in Gaza since the World Court's order in late January. Israel slams China for telling ICJ Palestinians have the right to armed struggle. A foreign ministry spokesman says Israel laments the unfortunate statement of the Chinese legal advisor at the ICJ, according to which the armed struggle is part of the Palestinians' right to self-determination and a legitimate tool for achieving independence. The laws of war do not allow a systematic and targeted attack against civilians and the use of civilians as human shields, two war crimes that Hamas commits under the title of armed struggle, said Lior Hayat. At the current time, the Chinese statement could be interpreted as support for the murderous terrorist attack by Hamas on 7 October, he added. Hayat went on to say that, China should ask itself why the terrorist organization Hamas was quick to welcome the words of its legal advisor at the ICJ. We must do our job, says Palestinian journalist in Gaza. As we reported earlier, media associations worldwide are marking today the International Day for Palestinian Journalists. Solomon Hiji, a Palestinian journalist in Rafah, says he and his colleagues are determined to keep reporting on the suffering in Gaza despite losing many colleagues and family members to the war. As journalists, we must document everything, the killing of children and entire families, the destruction of houses and buildings, Hiji told Al Jazeera. The situation is very tough but we must do our job. He said the work of Palestinian journalists covering wars in Gaza is different compared to that of foreign journalists. Because this is our land, where I and my family live, he explained. Before the war, I used to take beautiful pictures and videos, I was famous among my peers for my love of nature, everything that was once beautiful has been destroyed, said Hiji. Palestinian family defends hill amid Israeli settlements. As Israeli settlements and outposts expand in the occupied West Bank, many Palestinians have struggled to keep their homes. However, one Palestinian family, whose house sits on a hilltop surrounded by illegal Israeli settlements and an Israeli military camp, is determined to stay put despite frequent attacks from settlers. We were here before the settlers, Musab Sofan told Al Jazeera. My grandfather built the house in the 1970s, then my father and mother inherited it. We are here protecting it as well and will pass it on to our kids. My name is Kingsley. Please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be the first to be notified whenever we post, you won't regret it.